there everyone, this is Phantom Celebi, and I want to talk about the new characters in The Sims. You know, the new people that they replace the old cover people with. Along with which I want to talk about the redesign for The Sims. So, I'm probably part of the minority in this group of people, but I actually liked the way that the redesign looked. I don't want to make that the focus of this video, but this is why I think they chose that design. I think they were going for a modern feel to it, and if you've been to any modern art museums, they do do a lot of like geometric patterns and flashes of certain types of colors, and that can cause problems in certain people. I personally don't think every person who complained about it were bothered by it by like a medical sort of way, but it's good that EA was still thinking about the people who do get sick from those type of things. A lot of people don't like that the buttons aren't colorful anymore. I think that it actually goes pretty well with the new way that they designed the game. The way that the silhouettes look now, it's more uniform with the way that the game looks. And also, yet again, it's got a very sweet modern art feel to it, which goes very well with what it seemed to be what they were going for with the characters that they put on the cover now. The blue and green that they have right now is very on brand with The Sims 4. It's the colors that they've been using for quite some time now. It's just they arranged it in a different way. And I like that they decided on, you know, freshening things up. Also, I don't think that the old buttons go very well with the new menu. The new menu itself, I think, is really refreshing to be honest because the way that the other thing looked I don't know about you guys but it triggered OCD for me the way things were arranged it's like they were all just cluttered into a little corner and made me feel uncomfortable so I always got out of the front right away but then the way they set it up it feels like everything's in its own little line everything is flowing and I think it goes very well and you can see where the newer packs are going to go in and it's just to me felt right anyway I'm like I said I don't want to make the focus of this video the fact that I like the way that they designed the game what I do want to talk about are these new characters so a lot of people I think were a little triggered by the change but I do think that the Sims really did need modern representation of the current generation. The old characters felt very much like a stereotype of the way people in the states are or possibly how the states are represented. And if you look at the game, I would say it's definitely heavily inspired by the United States, possibly California, because that's what the areas look like to me. like. I mean, Oasis Springs to me totally has a Nevada feel to it, so does uh, Strangerville, and if you get a good look at uh, Willow Creek and all that, they have a very, you know, West Coast suburbs feel to them. So if you've ever been to any of those areas, you'll definitely know what I'm talking about. And it's just like, very interesting that that was the way that they designed the game. Maybe it's a possibility they'll change things up a bit. I know that San Myshuno has a very, I don't know, I guess Asian feel to it. And I think that's what they definitely were going for. Because San Myshuno has that sort of, uh, it definitely has more Asian people living there. So it could be that that was a Japan based area or possibly they were trying to go for sort of a Chinatown inside of that area because it seems like there isn't just Japanese people in this area it seemed like there were Japanese people there were Korean people it, it seems like this area had a good mix of Asians in the area and definitely was worth the money I spent on that pack so when I look at the characters here they're very mixed groups of people it's like they have an African-American woman, they have a Latinx woman, which a lot of people were disputing <laughs> in her entry, what is a Latinx? 
So this is what we view it as in my community, but it may be different based off of the area you are in. So Latinx is usually used as a gender neutral term for a Latina who possibly may be mixed or a Latino. It's uh, here and there, but it's basically, there is definitely Latin in your genetics. In the area where I live in, a lot of Latinx are mixed with African Americans but that's not just the norm for Latinx. It just basically means Latin mixed. She has a pretty athletic boyfriend who is on the cover as well. His name is Jaden, and Jaden is a cutie patootie. Definitely is a lovable character. Then there is the couple that everyone is talking about, the wonderful lesbian representation for our game. Seems kind of refreshing for LGBTQ plus be represented in a way like this. Maya and Della are such a cute couple and definitely seem like they can be used for tons of gameplays. They are fun, they're artistic, and they are the perfect representation of a healthy couple. Unlike the Pancakes family, which were a dysfunctional couple, which I still felt that it was a good thing that they had the Pancakes family and still do have the Pancakes family because they definitely represent an actual struggle that quite a few couples do go through and it's good to have a little mix of everything. Camille, Sydney, and Morgan I would definitely say are interesting characters. I like Camille the most out of those because I feel she's got a very I don't know, I guess interesting look to her. She's got red hair, which means obviously she dyed her hair. And she seems like a very fun and loving sim, and obviously she likes cooking. I mean, from the moment you look at her, she's giving people cookies, and she just seems warm and loving, but also seems like she doesn't care what people think. So I definitely want to see more gameplays with our girl Camille. I like Morgan because I think she definitely seems like the athletic type and a lot of athletic girls are viewed very negatively so it's kind of cool to see something like that. I think that Morgan and Zoe could make good workout buddies and like maybe they could hang out with Hunter and all the other amazing sims that came about in this. I mean, I think that the mix of all these people coming together really does show that the current generation is something that I was talking about before. They want change in not just the US but in the world. I think there is so much focus on the negativity of being around multiple ethnic groups and I think that that's a shame. This particular cover definitely shows that they're not afraid to show different groups together in one place just perfectly getting along with one another. And it's just amazing. I mean, that just shows that the Sims team really did think about this. I mean, these characters guaranteed they're going to be the focus of every new expansion pack that comes out from now to game packs to all this. I mean, there is already speculation that Morgan is going to be the main clue to universities coming out. And there's a possibility that universities may come out considering what I thought originally was the next pack was going to be uh, Realm of Magic. I thought originally it was an expansion pack, and I thought that might be cool because maybe they're going to present more occult sims, which I'm still hoping for, because I know that a lot of people were definitely looking forward to fairies coming back. But I don't know about you guys, <laughs> but I'm not going to focus too much on this. I hope you guys enjoy the new characters just as much as I do. And I'm going to end this here. Like, comment, and subscribe for more spastastic content. And in the comments below, just tell me how you feel. And I will see you in the next video. Love y'all. Goodbye. Peace. It's time once again for the Phantom Squad top tier. These are for the people who are awesome sauce. And awesome sauce is FDA approved and definitely does not have hair. <laughs> anyway, I want to thank you guys for being super amazing and definitely want to do more videos like this. I want to go back to doing some Let's Plays, but I don't want to just jump into things and then I don't do things fully the, the better way. I mean, 
I try to do the bit life thing, but for some reason my bit life save just keeps resetting. And it is bothering me because I want to continue with the storyline in there. But I think I might just do it anyway and just skip on the bit life scenarios and all that because I like the characters and I think what I'll do is I'll add them to another series because I was working on it yet again with a new save with similar names, the same main character name, and I just wanted to roll with it, but that's... So I want to thank those who supported me on Twitter, Patreon, and everything and beyond. So here's to you. Jazz the Chameleon, Potato underscore Bunch of Numbers, Edie Rose 23, Cute Girl Sim, Calorie underscore Aiken, Malunix 5, Carissa Sims, Benjamin GYT, Lovely Laura, Veggie Gamer, Bay Shaman, EJ Black Dove, Trippy D, Ray of Sunshine X1, Sonic Jenny, Ship D, Kaleida Sims, Prismatic Simmer, Sims Lita, Stray Shadow Cat, Sims Lena, and Josh CHG. I'll see you in the next video, and I love you all. Bye-bye.